And thanks so much for joining us here in the Fox 4 Weather Center. Well, it is a beautiful beach day here at Fort Myers Beach. This is a live look from our Margaritaville Beach Resort Tower camera. And, you know, conditions tomorrow? We will see some breezier weather in the afternoon, but your Sunday, if you're wanting a good beach day, honestly, tomorrow's not going to be shabby, but Sunday is going to be exceptional, especially with lower humidity. So currently outside, we're at 87 at Fort Myers Beach. That feels like temperature still at 92. That's because your dew point, the measure of moisture in the air, still very soupy, still at 74. But heading into your Sunday, this value is going to be at least 10 degrees cooler about 10 to 15 degrees cooler. So we do have that to look forward to with that much drier air. We won't have to factor in a heat index five to eight degrees hotter than the temperature itself. Now let's switch gears and let's head up to Fort Myers, downtown Fort Myers, looking live from the beautiful Luminary Hotel, crossing over the Caloosahatchee River, the Caloosahatchee Bridge, also enjoying those mostly sunny skies. For us, high pressure has really been anchored overhead, and that's what's been bringing us this drier, hotter, more humid weather pattern. Now as for those winds, we do have some gusts out there. Page Field right now reporting westerly winds sustained at 16 miles per hour, gust up to 20. RSW has some gust up to 17, but for the most part, we do have a bit of a sea breeze helping to force any cloud cover far, far inland. Helping you plan out your Friday evening. Wonderful weather to get outside. It's just the heat and humidity that we have to deal with. 9 o'clock temperatures down to 81 degrees and falling into the upper 70s. 79, holding steady. 11, midnight even heading out around 1 o'clock. And overnight, we'll gradually see some clouds increasing. The reason being... We have a little approaching cold front. Yes, it is this front that produced severe weather for our friends in the northern part of Florida this morning. But for us, that front will continue to weaken as it gets a bit closer. So anything strong, severe, certainly not in the cards for us. So overnight, as that front pushes through, we will be noticing a bit more cloud cover waking up your Saturday morning, 7 a.m., a very muggy start ahead of that cold front. So morning temperatures tomorrow mid to even upper 70s in a lot of communities. And as that front comes through, passing shower, even a rumble or two cannot be ruled out. Otherwise, minimal impact expected. That front is cleared southwest Florida by 12 noon. In its wake, clouds will clear out for the afternoon. Lots of sunshine on top, but it will be breezy at times. So heading into your Saturday afternoon, we will see some wind gusts upwards of 20 miles per hour. Those winds picking up out of the west, then becoming northwesterly as we look ahead to your Saturday night and Sunday morning. That will help to drive in even drier air. And that's going to set us up for a morning start in the 60s. We haven't seen the 60s in a while. So your Sunday morning, Mother's Day, feeling that lower humidity, a cooler start, a bit more comfortable. And with that lower humidity hanging out with us throughout the day, high temperatures on Mother's Day around 90 degrees will certainly be feeling a bit more comfortable. So overnight into tomorrow morning, again, partly to mostly cloudy skies, low to mid 70s, even some upper 70s expected right along the coastline. Heading into the afternoon, generally those low and mid 90s are expected. Cooler start for your Sunday morning up to 91 in the afternoon. Then that humidity makes the return by Monday with a 20% rain chance popping into the forecast Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday.